Hello there, it's Darren here in Cromington, Northumberland, eight miles north of Newcastle. You can't know where I am. Uh, talking about my compost tape. Uh, it took us about, I would say, about four years to get like a good uh, rota of uh, homemade compost. This was my first compost pile that I made uh, four years ago. Three pallets around here. I think that was in the garden, weeds, everything was chucked on here, and I've gradually been doing that. But obviously, as I've been uh, processing the garden, digging it, uh, de weeding, uh, making it as it is now, uh, obviously, you get more soil and rubbish and all that. So it just gets piled on. Like I say, everything goes on. I don't discriminate. Uh, this pile I started this year was out of a, a bit of a trough style raised bed. Uh, and obviously we've got chickens so that's getting piled on. Uh, basically I've been sieving out of there because uh, the stuff that came out of the trough had been there for about four years. So it was good soil. Uh, just slowly sieving through there, had a fire, everything just went on there, everything just went on. I've been sieving through there. Uh, obviously I've got old pots. I don't get rid of the soil. I still use that. Obviously this is some me some of the soil that I made last year which is quite nice I can't can't believe how nice it is actually uh, these are the sieves that I use this is a sieve that I had that I got made from my old workplace years ago uh, so that's the finest one I've got and obviously if I just want some soil just to pack in some plants uh, anything specific I just use this one uh, so like I say is sieve it all together And I basically end up with this. A bit of sand, so I'll put that in as well. I always say, good compost that you've made, if you can squeeze it and it holds its shape like that, that's good compost, and that's all made by me. Like I says, it took us a good four years to get a good routine of like how to do it and all that. You know, like it says, don't chuck everything in, don't do this, don't... I just chuck everything in. And sieve it and the thing is obviously if i'm doing seedlings i'll basically sieve this again on that the finest uh sieve that i had outside there i use that and you do get weed seeds coming through on your seedlings and all that but the thing is if you want free compost and you're not bothered and you, you know and you can recognize what the seedlings look like, you can just pick the seed, uh, the wheat seedlings as, as you go, which I do. Anyway, that was just a quick one about my compost uh, pile. So I've got a few things to basically repot. So anyway, hope that helps a little bit. It took me four years. Hopefully it'll take you less. See you later.